Do we need one of these for the Jeep? This massive recovery rope. The Jeep's not gonna go anywhere having this in the... It's so heavy. You need this to weigh down the springs to break them in in the back. Oh yeah, that would be helpful. <laughs> Holy moly. Jeez. Series campers. We used to have one of these front runner rooftop tents. Hey guys, Melissa and Jesse with Adventure Endeavor here. We are at SEMA 2021 in Las Vegas. So this is our first time at this event. And if you're not familiar with the event, basically it's anything and everything automotive. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's hot rods here, obviously Jeep stuff. And we were invited by Lippert Components and we're gonna basically just give you guys a tour of whatever we can see. It, yeah. might, it might take a while because it is gigantic yeah there's like five different halls we are in the overlanding and off-roading hall this is probably where we're going to be spending most of our time showing you a little bit of everything that there is here to see so yeah we're here with Lippert who also owns Kurt and Aries and UWS and a few other brands in the automotive industry what are these babe it's a weight distribution hitch and we're gonna need one of these which yeah. one should we get I don't know <laughs> we gotta do some research our new travel trailer is a bit bigger and it's gonna get some sway so one of these would be nice safety first cushion up here is pretty comfy. What booth are we in right now? iCamper, which is a bunch of rooftop tents and related items. So we're checking out this sweet rooftop tent with this massive outdoor vestibule. Something like this would be really great if we went like full-time overland, which is an idea that we have been entertaining at some point in life, not really sure when, but you know, that's where we got our start with adventuring. So we would like to eventually get back to that. So this is the Hitch Hotel. Basically, it hitches up. It basically, what do you call it? Telescopes? Yeah. Together? It's a telescoping camper. It like triples your space that you can have. This is a really cool idea. That is really I feel like I've seen them online before, but it's always fun to see them in person. Yeah, no, the concept was created about seven years ago. We started off with prototypes and we, we went on YouTube and I mean, not necessarily YouTube, but you know, we went in the digital world, the yeah. interweb, and we did not realize how much of an impact we were going to get. We, I think we've been translated into nine different languages all over the world because okay. the interest for a product that has such a small footprint mm -hmm. is huge. I mean, 39 inches wide to store carport, you know, inside next to a refrigerator, Inside, I mean, it's a breezeway, just breeze way, you yeah. name it, whatever it is. And the fact that it expands out to seven feet, two inches, I put 400 pounds of gear in here. I mean, if you have more than 400 pounds of gear, you better rethink your hobby, because that's gotcha. a lot of stuff. Wow. And it sleeps us a, a, a queen size mattress in there. I got some onboard power. I have all of the extras, you know, all my, all my windows have like screens and then have blinds, you know. I have hookups for AC and, and heat if you want it. Really? You know, we try to keep these a little bit more of a of a blank canvas for people who want to sort of customize it the way they want, sure. especially when you're in a show like this. We're here to just kind of create relationships and have strategic partners because we're two guys from Valencia who created a really unique product. We're here at Black Series Campers, and these are a couple campers that we actually looked hard at before buying our new camper, but ultimately it didn't fit for us and our lifestyle, but let's take a look at them. So they have this polybox style hitch, which allows it to rotate and articulate up and down. They actually give you an e-brake too, in case you need to unhitch in a bad situation, it'll help hold the trailer in place. Big front storage compartments, propane tank. You gotta love the nice big windows. Yeah, and that open all the way. Large rock rails to protect the trailer from rocks. Yeah. All the way around. All of them come with two spares because it's not just when you're on the highway. It's obviously when you're off-road, if you get a flat as well, you're gonna need to have an extra spare. All of these Black Series campers have independent suspension, which tires can basically move independently. Uh, the information page, you know, your name. So this is, uh, this is 
they're 21, so this one's a little bit larger at a different layout. Nice big table in the back. Wow. Nice big table. Obviously, this goes down to a bed. They got these nice skylights. Cabinetry all the way around for storage. This That's one, convenient. Seems like there's a lot more storage. Yeah. Wow. Definitely. Tons of storage cabinets in here. Microwave, what do you think, babe? Fridge. Could we have done this? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's really nice. Nice big There's bed. There's definitely more storage in here. Bed, TV. Interesting, huh? Yeah, but the there's uh, storage over there on the side of the bed. I don't and know if I'm a fan of the glass. The bathroom situation. Yeah. This opens up. Still, it's a little tight, obviously. Of course. But they're definitely cool. They have their purpose. Just the capability of something like this for it, the size of it is great. Yeah, off-road capability, which, you know, a lot of you viewers told us to get one of these, but they're also very expensive. So, it's you know, with life, it's a balance. Okay, so since the Jeep is so iconic with the chrome roof rack and all that, we don't really want to do a rooftop tent, but we want something that's easy to set up and just deploy. So we're looking at these Pitman Outdoors, these easy deployable tents, and they're really cool. <coughs> Super simple. There's a lot of space. <laughs> it's nice and roomy. And this just, might be a good option for us, babe. And it's just a super simple, it like folds up and then pops out, right? Yeah, there's plenty of room in here. Yeah. I like it. That's nice. And they make uh, mattresses for your truck beds that you could just put, put one of those in here too. Mm -hmm. Oh, it passes through too, that's nice. Wow. It's so cool. This is really nice. This reminds me a lot of Outliers Overland. Yeah, they're... Oh, how does the shower work? That's really interesting. It's like in the doorway. Does it... I think you just shower. There's I'm a very, curtain right is, here. Oh, so that is on a slide. The toilet's on, the a, slide, on a slide, so that pulls out. But you shower right there. Oh, yeah, and it drains right there. This is so <laughs> cool. This is the door. Oh, that's really interesting. There's a curtain there. I don't know, babe. Can we sell the Ram and buy one of these? I don't know. What is this? It's an Earth Cruiser? I believe so. Wow. Built by Earth Cruiser. Super interesting. Dang. Look at that. That's a Lagoon table. Is that Swivel. a Lagoon brand? I believe so, yeah. Oh, cool. Swivels Show in any... Show how it works. Basically, this table mount swivels in any direction. Uh-huh. So if you want to get up, you can just push it out of your way. That's pretty rad. That honestly would be really nice. Just That's what I was saying. It's Even nicer our, than I expected. For our travel trailer, that's, yeah. well, it would be great. Yeah. All this right. thing is so cool. It's a pass through. Yeah. Hey. What? So dark in here. Which is nice if you want to sleep in in the desert. Yeah, I mean, I imagine it, it, insulation's like better probably than a normal tent. Probably much better. So this is a shift pod. Yeah, just it's, it's the same kind of concept. It pops up really easily and it's supposed to be super sturdy against wind. Yeah, this is the Lance Enduro. Enduro is kind of the name that's inspired by the motorcycles, so it's used mainly on-road and off-road kind of dual capabilities. It's This thing features a 2,700-pound uh, dry weight is the goal and a 3,500-pound GBWR. It's a 12-foot floor plan. We have 290-watt uh, solar panels uh, that run right into 200 amp hours of batteries, uh, lithium batteries. Solar on the side port that can add an additional up to 300 watts of solar and a 1,500 watt converter. A majority of the stuff inside is actually run on a 12 volt, so yeah. it's super efficient. We have a Truma Combi Eco Plus heater uh, okay. and hot water heater, so furnace and hot water heater. It's got a wet bath inside with a cassette toilet. The cassette toilet has basically five gallons of waste that you can hold and up to two gallons of water uh, on board for that. Uh, the trailer itself has 40 gallon water tank and a 26 great. gallon, 26 gallon gray tank. Um, exterior kitchen and uh, in, on the inside is a dinette that converts into a king size bed. 
uh, and we're currently under development for a uh, bunk bed that swings down on the inside. So in oh, theory, wow. with the rooftop tent, the interior bunk, and uh -huh. uh, the king size bed, you can sleep six to seven. Um, That's great. Depending on the ages of the kids, it's like that. Um, and if you have dogs, you know this is perfect for you too. Firewood rack kind of alleviates some pain. Yeah. And uh, you can hold up to basically two propane containers as well. Very so, cool. Yeah. After lunch, we rounded out the day by visiting SEMA's North Hall, where they had several classic cars on display, as well as the Baja 1000 experience full of race trucks and pre-runners. We can't wait to show you day two.